I can say this for the speaker and I, it's one of our major caucus priorities. We want early voting on early voting. Uh, we want to do this in February or March. <laughs> <laughs> we don't want to wait. Uh, I think people spoke loud and clear this is an issue they care a lot about. Um, there are two things I, I want to mention that I think are important. I stood up on the House floor last year when we did this amendment, and we only got 81 votes, so was not able to go on the ballot right away. And I mentioned someone who works two jobs. And some people rolled their eyes at me, but I got actually a dozen letters from people who were unable to vote for the following reason. They don't qualify under the statutory uh, exemption for voting by absentee ballot because they actually wake up in their house at about 5.45 in the morning, they take a bus at 6.15 in the morning to their first job, they then stay out of town the entire day and go to their second job and return home at 8.30. They are not allowed to vote by absentee ballot. If they were to vote, it would be against the law. Those facts and circumstances are real, and the letters that I got, the emails that I got on that, really tell a story about how we have a perfect election system for about 75 years ago for a much different age and time. It's not reality in 2019. The things you can do from your phone are pretty remarkable, and yet we make people from six to eight squish into this weird statutory scheme that just doesn't work anymore. The last thing I would say, and I think the Secretary of State and, and Senate President Looney alluded to this, is we need votes, not just Democratic votes. We need bipartisan votes to make this an amendment in 2020. So let me put a challenge out there to anybody who says, I'm not sure how I feel about early voting. I'm not sure that voters really, that was a referendum. I disagree with that. But don't sit on the sidelines and vote no. What are your ideas? So is it not three days? Do you want more? Do you want fewer? We'll work with people to get this on the ballot in 2020. But we can't wait four years for the amendment to pass, then implement new statutes. You'd be talking 2026. Mm -hmm. So to those who are resigned to voting no, the challenge is out there. Why are you voting no? What are your ideas and suggestions? Why do every other state in the United States of America allow some form of early voting? That is a challenge to Republicans and Democrats alike.